The Handley Page HP.137 Jetstream is a small twin turboprop airliner, with a pressurized fuselage. The aircraft was designed to meet the requirements of the United States commuter and regional airline market. The design was later improved and built by British Aerospace as the Bay Jetstream 31 and Bay Jetstream 32, featuring different turboprop engines. Topic: Development. Handley Page was in an awkward position in the 1960s, wishing to remain independent of the Big Two British companies Hawker Siddeley and the British Aircraft Corporation, but without the money needed to develop a large new airliner that would keep it in the market. After studying the problem it decided that its next product would be a highly competitive small airliner instead, filling a niche it identified for a 12-18 seat high-speed design. American salesman and modification engineer Jack Riley claimed to have written the design specifications. The design garnered intense interest in the U.S. when it was first introduced, and an order for 20 had been placed, even before the drawings were complete. Charles Joy was responsible for the design. The original design dates from 1965 as a 12-seat six-rows with a center aisle aircraft. The aircraft was a low-wing, high-tail monoplane of conventional layout. Considerable attention was paid to streamlining in order to improve performance, which led to one of the design's more distinctive features, a long nose profile. The fuselage had a circular cross-section to ease pressurization, allowing much higher altitude flights and consequent higher speed and comfort than competing unpressurized designs. One drawback of the design was that fuselage was so small in cross-section that the cabin floor had to be lowered to allow stand-up passenger entry and egress through the rear door. This meant that the main spar had to run through the cabin, causing a tripping hazard. Final assembly took place in a new factory at the Radlett Aerodrome, but large portions of the structure were subcontracted, including complete wings being built by Scottish Aviation at Prestwick, Scotland and the tail section by Northwest Industries of Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. The original design used Turbomeca Astazu 14 engines of approximately 840 horsepower, 626 kilowatts, and flew on the 18th of August 1967 as the Jetstream 1. Throughout the test program the engines proved to be a weak point, being generally underpowered for the design, and surprisingly temperamental for what was then a mature and widely used turboshaft design. Testing was eventually moved to the Turbometcha factory airfield in the south of France, both to allow faster turnaround with engine work, and in order to improve the schedule by taking advantage of the better weather. In order to improve sales prospects in the U.S., the fifth prototype was fitted with the U.S.-built Garrett TPE-331 in place of the French Astazu. Changing to the U.S.-built engine was enough to allow the United States Air Force to consider it for cargo use. It eventually placed an order for 11, fitted with a cargo door and accommodation for 12 passengers or 6 stretcher cases, to be known as the C-10A, or Jetstream 3M. 
The U.S. Air Force canceled its order in October 1969 citing late delivery. The first production model Jetstream 1 flew on 6 December 1968, and over the next year 36 would be delivered. However, by this point Handley Page had given up on the original engine, and the Jetstream 2 was launched with the larger 965 horsepower 720 kilowatts Astazu 16, starting deliveries in late 1969. The late delivery and engine problems had driven development costs to over £13 million, far more than the original £3 million projections. Only three Jetstream 2s would be completed before Handley Page went bankrupt, and the production line was eventually shut down in 1970. There was enough interest in the design that it was first picked up by a collaboration of investors and Scottish Aviation which formed a company called Jetstream Aircraft to produce the aircraft. A further ten Jetstream 1s were produced by this team. Scottish Aviation continued production of the Jetstream 2 as well, although referring to it as the Jetstream 200. In February 1972, 26 Jetstream 201s were ordered by the Royal Air Force, which used them as multi-engine trainers as the Jetstream T.1. Fourteen of these were modified as observer trainers for the Royal Navy, receiving the designation Jetstream T-2. Variants Jetstream MK-1 Jetstream 200 Jetstream 3M Improved variant with TPE 331 engines for the United States Air Force. C-10A United States Air Force military designation for the Jetstream 3M, production started but order cancelled and none delivered. Riley Jetstream a few early Jetstream 1 aircraft were converted by Riley Aircraft of Carlsbad, California, to this version. The aircraft were fitted with two PT-6A turboprop engines. Jetstream T-1 United Kingdom military designation of MK-1s for the Royal Air Force as multi-engine trainers. Jetstream T-2 Conversion of T-1s for the Royal Navy as rear crew trainers. Century 3 Conversions with TPE-331 engines. Topic. Operators The aircraft was used mainly by corporate operators and scheduled passenger commuter, regional airlines. Topic. Civil operators Argentina Aero VIP Libya Barak Air Colombia ADA SARPA Vertical de Aviation Denmark New Air Germany Bavaria Fluggesellschaft United States Air Illinois Air US Apollo Airways subsequent name change to Pacific Coast Airlines Big Sky Airlines Dorado Wings operated in the Caribbean from Puerto Rico Cal State Airlines Jetair Airlines Interstate Airlines 
Sierra Pacific Airlines. South Central Air Transport SCAT aircraft subsequently acquired by Air Illinois. Sun Airlines announced by the airline but may have not been actually delivered or operated. Texas Star Airways Western Air Stages Zia Airlines Topic. Military operators United Kingdom Royal Air Force retired 2003. Royal Navy retired 2011. Uruguay Uruguayan Navy former Royal Navy T2s. Retired 2010. Topic. Accidents and incidents The 6 March 1970 Diena of Bavaria Fluggesellschaft collided with power lines and crashed. The 17 April 1981, Century 3 conversion N11360 operating Air U.S. Flight 716 collided with a private Cessna 206 carrying skydivers after taking off from Fort Collins Loveland Municipal Airport, killing all 13 passengers and crew on board on the flight and the two people in the Cessna 206. 8 May 1989 Royal Navy T2XX489 crashed into Portland Harbor. Topic: Aircraft on display. United Kingdom Jetstream T.1XX492 at Newark Air Museum, Nottinghamshire. Jetstream T.1XX494 at East Midlands Aeropark, Leicestershire. Jetstream T.1XX496 at Royal Air Force Museum Cosford, Shropshire. Jetstream T.1XX499 at Brooklyn's Museum, Surrey. Topic: Specifications Series 200. Data from Jane's All the World's Aircraft 1976-77, General Characteristics Crew, 2 Capacity, 16 passengers Length, 47 feet 2 in 14.37 meters Wingspan, 52 feet 0 in 15.85 meters. Height, 17 feet 5 in 5.32 meters. Wing area, 270.0 square feet, 25.08 m2. Empty weight, 7,683 pounds, 3,485 kilograms. Max takeoff weight, 12,566 pounds, 5,700 kilograms. Fuel capacity, 384 imp gallons, 1,745 L. Power plant, 2 times Turbomeca Astazu 16C2 turbo performance. Maximum speed, 282 miles per hour, 454 kilometers per hour, 245 kn. Cruise speed, 269 miles per hour, 433 kilometers per hour. 234 kn econ cruise 
stall speed 88 miles per hour 142 kilometers per hour 76 kn flaps down never exceed speed 345 miles per hour 555 kilometers per hour 300 kn range 1380 miles 1199 nmi 2221 kilometers service ceiling 25000 feet 7600 meters rate of climb 2500 feet per minute 13 meters per second Topic. See also Related development Bay Jetstream 41 aircraft of comparable role, configuration and era Embraer EMB-110 Bandarante Fairchild Swearingen Metroliner Embraer, FMA CBA 123 Vector Beechcraft 1900 Related lists List of civil aircraft <laughs>